Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So we have this Six of Cups. Let me get this here. So the Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia. It's a card of going back in time and really thinking about people or events or places that bring you comfort and brought you happiness. You can see in this illustration that the the, the boy and the girl are uh, planting their cups or they're tending to their cups. And so with the Six of Cups, there's a childlike tenderness and kindness as well, as well as thinking back on those times. And so it's always, in addition to going back down memory lane, it's also a, uh, an encouragement to be kind and considerate to you, the people within your life. And so uh, you see the older couple here on the bench and they're watching the young couple. So Friday may be a day where you're spending with people from your past and having fun with them and enjoying time spent with them and uh, you know the only thing to think about with the six of cups is when we go down nostalgia or memory lane it's not to get stuck down there we have to be able to get back because if we live in the past all of the time then it's hard to be present and it's hard to move on and you never know what's out there if you're always thinking about what was so this is a beautiful card. Uh, the Six of Cups really has a beautiful intent, which is to be gentle, to be kind. There may be children within your day on Friday, but at the very heart, it's uh, thinking back on times that brought you comfort. Okay, our next card is the Hermit. So the hermit, we see this hooded figure here with the lantern, uh, isolated, going up the mountain or going near this big tree. And this is a, uh, it, again, it's an idea of working within yourself, of finding the time to do the self work, to be self aware. Whether you do that through journaling, whether you do it through reading or exercising, meditating, going to a yoga class, it's really a call to you to work on yourself and to um, do the necessary legwork on figuring out what's going on in, within your life and figuring out what, uh, what needs to be improved. Often we look at the hermit card and we kind of reflect on our past actions. Did our past actions get us to where we are now? Are we happy with where we are now? So it's good to be by yourself sometimes. And sometimes it's hard to find that time if you have a big family or if you're uh, really social that maybe some people are not used to being alone, but you know, being alone, whether it's for 10 minutes, whether it's for a spiritual retreat for five days, has benefits. And I think everyone deserves to have that time alone to be able to just consider and to contemplate what's going on in your life. And what do you want and what can you do better? Or just recognizing that so far so good. The thing to think about is don't stay isolated 
too long because then that's not healthy either. And again, it's the balance and the hermit is just encouraging the self-reflection of finding inner wisdom. The hermit also has a connotation of a mentor, but uh, if, you know, I always feel that it's much more geared towards self-reflection and of doing the work. So whether you're reading a spiritual book, whether you are, uh, you know, learning a new modality, Reiki or something, or teaching yourself something to calm you down, you know, these, this to me is a hallmark of the Hermit card. Then we have the Three of Swords in reverse. And this is a pretty heavy Three of Swords. It's a heart, like a real heart with three swords piercing it. And the light rays. So what does this mean? That means that we've been hurt. We've had some sadness, perhaps betrayal, unkind words, a sense of loss, you know, just feeling hurt. Maybe a relationship is not going the way that you had hoped for. And that's painful. It's painful when you have these realizations that that may happen. So in reverse, however, it seems that things are lightening up and that you see maybe the light at the end of the tunnel and that you're ready to let these swords fall out and that you're ready to move on. You're ready to open your heart to new experiences and perhaps between the thinking of the hermit and the three of swords in reverse, you know, that there's a sense of being okay with what's happening, of acknowledging what's happening within your life and uh, knowing that it's okay. So we have a card of kindness, six of cups, nostalgia of children perhaps at a literal level of working with children also could could just go toward the natural give and take that people have with each other we have a call to get some inner wisdom through self-reflection through time alone taking that moment for yourself you deserve it so take that time and then we have the three of swords in reverse which is a sense of hurt loss betrayal an upset that has come to you and hopefully it's come and it's passing and that you're able to see a future and that you're able to see a way apart from the hurt and again the three of swords it's a minor arcana card it's not like a heavy thing that's going to uh, break you down we have hurts and we have pains all the time and so we manage them we put them in their little place we maybe shed a few tears and then we move on and we keep moving on and I think that's really something to key in on for Friday uh, with these cards and so number wise we have six we have nine fifteen 15 and 3 is 18, and that reduces to 9. 1 plus 8 equals 9. And 9 is about nearing completion. It's about wisdom. It's about spirituality. Spir spirituality. So an interesting reading for Friday of self-reflection and getting over a hurt. And let's close the reading with an oracle card from James Van Praa's the soul's journey service I feel good when I can help others so I feel good when I can help others particularly on a day like Thanksgiving the night that I'm filming this on any day when you can help others when you can show kindness and consideration is powerful because it's fulfilling 
and it's enriching and it brings value to your life so to be of service and it doesn't have to be of um, writing a check or giving money it goes toward time it goes toward energy helping a neighbor um, helping a child learn how to read who's having trouble helping children who don't have enough supplies to go to school or helping an elderly parent um, with what they need so many ways to be of service so I hope that you have a great Friday and for those who are doing the Black Friday thing well good luck enjoy I will not be doing that I'll be home uh, just relaxing and reading and enjoying uh, rest and recovery so I wish you the very best thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed seeing me let me know and if not then I'll just go back to the other way and uh, um, go ahead and subscribe and check again tomorrow for another tarot reading daily tarot reading thank you so much bye bye